All right, great stuff. As I said, welcome um, to today's session. My name is Wes Theron. And yeah, today we'll be looking at recreating, um, recreating block designs. As you know, these sessions are um, sessions which, where we actually learn from each other. So yeah, I'm, I'm excited to, to hear from you as well. You're welcome to um, get involved in the chat, um, answer each other's questions, pose questions. I might not have all the answers, but hopefully there's enough people here to, to help me out. All right, so um, as I said, we are looking at recreating block designs. And I thought before I get into that, let's talk about um, the block editor. So the WordPress block editor um, is also called just the block editor or the WordPress editor. Um, some refer to it as the Gutenberg editor. And it is the new way of publishing content um, in WordPress. So following its launch in December 2018, um, the WordPress block editor was set as the default editor. And of course, it's, it has replaced the, the classic editor. You can still use the classic editor um, by um, installing a plugin, the, the classic editor plugin. So you're still able to do that, but yeah, the default <coughs> editor, <coughs> excuse me, um, or the, the block editor is now the default editor in, in WordPress. So the block editor offers an array of blocks that can be used to create media rich pages um, and posts. And um, you can achieve a lot of things without using a page builder if that is what you wanted to do. I mean, the wonderful thing about WordPress is uh, there's such a large community and there's so many products that you can use and some people prefer to use um, page builders and that's great. Um, but there's a lot that you can do um, just by using the block editor. Um, you don't actually need a page builder um, if, if, if that is the route that you, you wanted to go. So, You can control the layout of blocks with, with ease um, to build visually appealing web pages by nesting and combining blocks. And we'll, we'll, we'll see a lot of that today by nesting and combining blocks. And, and as you can see on the screen, uh, blocks are the content elements that you add to create content layouts. And the important blocks to take note of, I think, um, are container blocks. Um, and that is for, for structure. I said equal structure. Um, so container blocks provide structure for basic blocks, um, such as the group block, the columns block, the cover block, etc. And it is a block that groups other blocks together inside one container. And you can think of it as a parent block that can hold multiple child blocks within it. And the great thing about it is that it will also allow advanced styling options such as padding, margins, background color, um, and so forth. So let's just talk about what we are going to be doing today. Um, we are going to be grouping and nesting blocks together. We will be creating um, an offset gallery um, and we will also be customizing a header in the site editor. We will be building a page with various content elements, and we will be editing blocks and, and of course, some of the style settings. So oh, I see a bit of a typo there, sorry, an offset gallery. So yeah, that is what we want to achieve. So let's jump straight into it by looking at my first example. All right, so we're going to look at different examples. Um, I might have time for another example that I didn't put in here, but um, we might get there. Um, but yeah, let's talk about this for a moment, um, an offset gallery. Now, we know usually images are um, very symmetrical, and, and this is a different way of, of displaying your images and displaying um, a gallery. So yeah, this is what we call an offset gallery. And I thought we can, we can see how, how we can create our own offset gallery. 
So this is from a this is a screenshot from a different website. And let me just jump out of here then and go to my my test website. All right. So this is actually an offset gallery that I've created. It's part of my restaurant website. And as you will notice, the images complement each other, but it's not the typical, the typical structure um, you would see. All right, now how did I create this? Let me show you. And this is hopefully something you can test out afterwards um, as well. Now, I think the first thing we want to see here is you can actually see I've got three columns here. So let's go to our page. So I've created, let me just go back here. So I've created a, a page offset gallery. So I've created this page. So I'm just going to, let's do it below. All right, so the first thing we're going to do is we are going to, um, yes, Jane, always food. Food or traveling, that's my, my go-to. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to add a columns block, and this time I'm going to select three equal columns. All right, so I've selected my three equal columns. Now you will notice when I click it goes onto the individual column. So this is where you want to use your, your list view because I want to select the parent block. I want to select the, the, the main column block. And then I'm going to use my block toolbar and I want to change the alignment to full width. All right, so now we have done that. And now we can start adding our our content. All right, so let's start on the left column. We'll click on the insert, we'll add a block. And the first thing we're going to do is we're going to add an image block. And I've, I've already, of course, added these to my media library. So I will go there. And as you can see, <laughs> lots of good food. And I am after this one. And I will select it. I'm going to press enter and then I'm going to add my next image. Again from my media library. And let's go for this one. All right. But now, of course, we want to make the second one smaller. Okay, so we're gonna just drag it a bit smaller for now, and then we will change the alignment to right. Alignment to right. All right, so you can see there's a straight line coming, coming down here. All right, now we can move on to our middle column. We can add another image from the media library. And we're going to select the, the one with the lights in the restaurant. And we also want to make this one um, smaller. All right. So you asked, how do you um, realign a button under the media. Um, we'll get there a bit later. Um, I'm not using any buttons for now, but um, I'll definitely get there later. All right, so I've added that one. Let's add another image. Remember, you can just say dash image if you wanted to as well. And this one. Okay. So now we can go ahead. We, we're going to come back and, and, and check this, um, the sizes of these just now. Um, but for now, we are going to add a paragraph block on the side. Now, 
to, to save time. So first I'm going to add a heading and I'm going to say, welcome to Abashin. That is my restaurant name. And then I'm going to add another image. Just something to make it look nice, but we can't see that at the moment. So let's go ahead now and select our columns block again. Now, the one thing about the columns block, as I mentioned, it mentioned it is a um, container block and you can actually go to your settings and we can change the background color to black. And now, of course, you can see that. Now we just need to select my welcome to Abishin and then we change the text to, to white. All right, and to save time, I've already, I got all my, my information in a different doc, so I'll go there. And now I'll press enter and I will, Add that there. Just ignore Grammarly, please. All right, so I'll grab that again and I will change the text to white. All right, so there you can see in, in a few clicks, I created this, this offset gallery. Um, now I just wanted to double check my sizes. So if I click on the image, um, it says, 819 by 1024 that's fine is this the one i had oh, maybe let's make this 219 i was wondering if this one should be a bit larger yes let's make that one 257 and then this one You can actually make this one a bit smaller. Let's make this um, 414. All right, and now of course, we can do that. And there you go. Now let's update this. And of course, the, the main thing about using a, um, using a block theme is that I won't have, you won't see the, the header here, right? Um, I created the header in the, um, in the site editor. So let's say preview. Um, and this is something I wanted to show you as well. Let's look at the mobile. Um, so oh, first of all, let's preview this in a different tab. All right. So as you know, there's my header, but of course you want to see what this looks like. Um, and Yakun, I think that's what you are referring to. Let's see what this looks like on mobile. And I want to show you a cool trick if you didn't know how to do this. Um, if you click on, if you right click and you click on inspect, right? There is a little option here. Um, it says toggle device toolbar. So if you click on it, you can go to, and you can actually see what it will look like on a desktop. And then if you click on it again, you will see what it will look like on, on mobile. So of course, there's my, my header, um, my responsive menu, the hamburger menu. And if you go down, the images are also in an offset structure. So yeah, I think it looks really good on, on mobile as well. Great stuff. Um, and now we can Click out of there. All right, any questions about the, the offset gallery? Um, 
but yeah, uh, a creative way of, of displaying your, um, your images, you know, without using any code, just using a, a columns block. So yes, this session is being recorded. So afterwards, I will drop the link um, in Meetup, but it's also available. I'll share that at the end. It's also available on learn.wordpress, and then you can rewatch it and, and, and play around with it as well. Yes, Dev, it does. I actually watched Lego Masters this weekend. It does sometimes feel like playing playing with Lego. All right. All right, so let's move on to my next example. Now, let me just move this slightly. All right, so I've created um, a page here. And as you can see, it's got a, a very nice um, featured image. Um, it says it's the site logo is spectacular sightseeing. I've got my navigation menu on the right. I've got some text here and a call to action. And then if you scroll down, I have a quote from Lewis Carroll that says, in the end, we only regret the chances we didn't take. So there's a bit of a life lesson for you today as well in our session. It's not just all about WordPress. Don't regret your choices. <laughs> all right, and if we scroll down, you will notice I've got these two um, images um, or two options like hiking and trekking and then Great Lakes and then another, another two calls to actions where you can actually click and hopefully find out about cool hiking trails, etc. And then if you come down, you will see I've got this parallax effect. <clears throat> where to next? And to end it off, traveling made easy. Now, hopefully your eye can immediately see that, um, that I've used column blocks here as well. But you also see I've modified the image a bit so that it's got that rounded um, effect or it doesn't have that sharp curve or sharp edges. All right, so let me show you how I created this. So let's start with the top. And of course, this is our header. And I created the header in my site editor because I'm, of course, using a block theme. I'm using um, the 2022 um, theme. So let's click back to our dashboard. And if you click on appearance, you will notice I am using the 2022 theme. And to create that header, we need to go to the the site editor, because with a block theme, of course, you are in charge of your um, navigation menu and your headers and your footers. Now, <clears throat> at the moment, um, I'm on my homepage template, homepage template, and I am going to go to template parts because a header and a footer are template parts that you add to your templates. Now, you will notice here's the one I've already created, but we are going to recreate it, right? So I am going to click on Add New, top right. And of course, I want to create a header template part, a new header. So I'm going to click on Header. And I'm going to say, Let's call this online workshop header. All right, and now I'm going to click on create. And this is taking me into the template editing mode. And the nice thing about the template editing mode is that you don't have any other uh, distractions. All right, so let's go ahead. And the first thing we're going to use, we're going to use a container block. We're going to use the the cover block here. And the great thing about the cover block is that you can add an image or video and you can lay, um, overlay um, 
uh, or you can have an overlay color and of course you can put text and other blocks on top of that so let's select our cover block and here is that beautiful image that you saw and now if you click on the um, the cover block we're going to go to our our block toolbar and we're going to say toggle to full height so that it fills the um, it fills the um, the space all right now let's look at the opacity the opacity is at 50 and i'm actually going to keep it there because i'm going to add um, i'm going to add text to it all right now we are going to add a row block Okay, the first thing, let's just add this and we change the text to white. All right, we are going to add a row block for our site logo and for our navigation menu. And we're going to use a row block because we want to have one part on the left and one part on the right. So on the left side, we are going to add my site logo. All right, so you can of course replace this if you have a different site logo but this is the one i have and let's enlarge that a bit all right now on the right side i'm going to click on the insert uh, inserter again remember i'm adding another element or i'm adding another block to the row block and this time i want to add a navigation block and i'm going to select a menu that i've already created but of course, you can start empty if you wanted to. So I'm going to select the navigation menu, the one I've already created. And I'm going to change the text to white. All right. But now you will see, okay, just want to double check. Let's click on the list view. I've selected the robot. But now you will see we have a bit of a problem. The, the site logo and the navigation menu are like right next to each other we don't want that um, we want the navigation menu to go all the way to the right and to do that it's quite a, a quick fix you go to your sidebar settings and below justification there's an option on the right far right it says space between items so we are going to create space between those two items so if i click on that you will notice the navigation menu goes to where you want it. All right. Um, and let's just select our navigation menu. I think I want to create, make it a bit larger. And I'm going to say, let's change it to, to three. And then also drag this a bit larger as well. Okay, now we are going to press enter. And now we're actually going to add a spacer block because um, you'll remember there's more text and I'm going to add a spacer block between the, the two parts so that when I, when I drag the spacer block um, or enlarge the spacer block, the top part will go up and the, the bottom part will go down. So let's add um, a spacer block and then press enter and now we're going to add a paragraph block oh sorry it's already a paragraph block so now i'm going to say live the dream and i'm going to also ensure the text is white i'm going to change the alignment to center and I'm going to say I want the text to be extra large and I want it to be four. All right, and then below that, I am going to add a separator block. And I'm going to change the background of the separator block to white as well. And then I am Let's just click on the separator and say insert after. 
And now I'm going to say your journey starts here. And of course, again, change the alignment to center, change the text to white. And I'm actually going to, you know, you can add these default sizes, one, two, three, four. So it's um, small, medium, large, and extra large. But of course, if you click on set custom size, you can add your own custom size. And I'm going to say I want this to be 60 pixels. And then I'm going to press enter. And this is, this comes to back to the question um, about the buttons block. So now we're going to add a buttons block or like a call to action. So I'm going to add the buttons block. And you can merely just use the, the block toolbar. Um, I can't remember exactly who asked that question, but um, um, I think it was Prashanti. Um, so yes, you can. Now just use your block toolbar and say, I want this to be center. Okay, and I want this to say, learn more. But I actually want the background color of my buttons block to be white and I want my text to be black. So just in your sidebar settings, we're gonna say, we want the text to be black and we want the background to be white right and when i highlight it you'll see you've got in your block toolbar setting you can also change that to bold and then one thing i always like the rounded effect of the buttons block so you will do that in the right on the right side in your sidebar settings as well when you look at the border and the radius you can type in here 100 or you could have just dragged all the way to the right All right, and now, of course, um, to learn more, you just need to remember to click on the link. And, of course, you need to add the link to where that button takes you. And there you have it. Um, the only thing we can still do here is, let's say, we can... Drag that to the top a bit. And also, um, if I click on the row block, I just want to see um, if I go down, just want to see, um, maybe you want to add a bit of padding. So where are we now padding? So I just want to see if I if I drag that up, I can actually bring that in a bit if you wanted to. So maybe we can add that to 10 pixels. And then we can can save. All right. Um, Yakun, you said I've noticed that the editable para parameters for each block seem kind of random, almost like a different engineered reverse hard copies. Yeah, I'm unsure about that, Yakun. Maybe it's just um, theme related. All right. Um, great stuff. So there we've created our template part or our header. And maybe one thing I, you still want to do if you want to Maybe make that italics. I don't know. You can decide. All right, so let's save that. And now go back to our template parts. And you will notice that is one of the options now that, um, that you have. So when we go to our, our page template, um, you will notice if you click on the list view, I've called this one test one. Now, I could easily now go down and say replace. And then I just click on the one we have just created, which is online workshop header. And there you go. All right. Now I'm going to click save.
Okay. So are you happy with that? Any more questions about the site editor and the header? Because as you know, all the other content, and this is really important, all the other content that we're going to add, we are actually going to add to a page because we don't add content to templates. Templates are for site structure. Um, and content will be added to um, our, our block editor. And if you create a page or a post, right? So we have created structure by creating a header. And therefore, we're going to leave the site editor now and, and make our way back to the block editor. All right. Um, so can you show having multiple versions of a header and swapping that part to a page? Creating a new template, creating a new template part. Okay, Yakun, um, that is actually, I think that's going to be a bit too much, maybe at the end. Um, I've actually run a, an online workshop about templates and template parts. Um, I don't know if I'm going to have enough time to get into that, um, but I'll quickly just make a reference to that. So, of course, um, you can have different templates for different pages because maybe you don't want this header for another page. So then you just need to add a different template to that page. Um, and to do that, um, for example, if you go to templates, and let's say, for example, um, for your, your posts. Now, you will know I just opened up the single post template. So usually this, now this is the, the header that you, will, that you will see when you um, open up a post, right? But we can quickly change that if we wanted to by selecting one of our existing template parts. Um, or by selecting one of our, our patterns. So let's add that one and save it. So now your, your posts will have a different, a different header, for example. All right, so let's make our way to the dashboard. Um, and Yakun, this also refers to what you said. So if I go to pages, for example, and let's go to um, the about page. There's no content in here at the moment, but if you go on the right to the sidebar settings, you will see it says template. And at the moment, this page has been assigned to the default template. And here you can edit that template, the page template that we just worked on, or you can actually create a brand new custom template um, in the template editor. But as I mentioned, uh, we probably don't have time for, for all of that. But yeah, that is how you how you can actually change um, the template that is assigned to a page. All right, so yeah, Yakun, I hope that helped or helped some people. Um, so again, I'm just gonna go to the front page. Remember, this is what we've just created in the site editor or a template part. And now we wanna go ahead and create all of this that you see here. Okay, so again, I'm gonna go jump back. I'm gonna to go to pages. Now, all of that information you just saw, I created in the home page. So you'll notice if you go to settings, reading, you will notice that um, I've selected a static page. So I've got a static home page and I've, I've um, assigned the home page to my home page. And um, 
you can also, of course, have a blog page or a different page assigned to your posts. All right, so let's go back to pages. Now, for this example, I don't want to, um, we are technically creating the, the home page, right? So this is where we do it. But for now, let's just create an example page. So example page. All right. So first things first, we want to add that, um, that quote. Now, you would have noticed that the quote had a different um, background. And you need a container block for that. So I'm going to say dash, and I'm actually going to add a group block first, because you can change the, the background color of a group, group block. So I'm going to add a group block, and then I'm going to change the alignment to full width. And then inside the group block, I'm going to add a quote block. All right, and there it is. You'll notice there's even um, a cool template that you could, could use if you wanted to. But I'm going to say I want to use the, the quote block, and I'm going to just jump back to my, here's my quote. I'm going to copy that just to save a bit of time. All right, so there's my quote. And this is the person who said it, Lua Carol. And now we can select it. Let's make it larger. Let's say three for large. And now let's change the alignment to center. And now, of course, if you click on the group block, let's just click on the list view. I've selected the group block. All right. Um, I see the quote block actually also has the, the option to change the background color. So maybe I didn't need the group block. But for now, let's just change the background color. And there you go. My quote. And then swiftly moving on to those two images and text that you saw. So I'm going to use another columns block. Yes, the great thing, um, Dave, is um, they are, of course, um, iterating, and a lot of blocks are getting more and more features. So um, the great thing is with, with WordPress 6.1, um, there will be even more um, more um, possibilities with, with different blocks. So yeah. So I'm going to add a columns block, but and I'm going to show you why I'm going to choose 100 now. I'm, I'm just going to choose one for now because I'm going to use the duplicate option just to save us time. And that is something that, that you can really start using um, is, is by duplicating. Um, because once you've created the structure, you can just duplicate and then um, replace the, the content. So the first thing I'm going to add is I'm going to add a gallery. And I'm going to select this image. All right. And then in my sidebar settings, I want to change the, I don't want those sharp edges, so I'm just going to change the radius to 20. And now you will notice it's got that nice curve. All right, and then I'm going to um, Okay. And now I'm going to add paragraph. And this was the one hiking and tracking. Again, I'm going to take that to center and I will make it bold. And then below that, I will add some more text. And I'll just use a bit of dummy text here. 
All right, and let's add some dummy text there. And then below that, we're gonna add another call to action, a buttons block. And this time we're gonna say explore instead of learn more. And we wanna actually change the background color to black. And let's make that bold. And then rem remember, if you want that rounded border, you can just drag the radius to 100 pixels. And let's change the alignment to center. All right. Now I'm going to click on my list view. All right. That is the column, right? So now I'm just going to say duplicate. So I'll click on the three vertical dots and then I'll click on duplicate. All right, that did not work because oh, I know why it did not work. All right. Um, let me no. Okay. Let me quickly fix this. I'm going to add a column to equal columns. All right, let me just um, change this to full width. Now, I'll, I'll show you, you can. See a bit of troubleshooting here as well. Okay, so now we can actually, I want to see if this works. Um, we are going to copy all of this. Let's see if that works. Okay, and we are going to add that. We're going to paste it there. All right. Sorry. Let's remove the image. Oh, where's this now? Let's remove this column. Remove all of this. Okay. Back to Sorry, Gene, you said column block, not the parent block to duplicate. Yes, thank you. Sorry. Um, maybe that was the, well, was that the issue? I should have, I didn't, I just shouldn't have duplicated the, the, the parent block, just the, the one column. All right. So now I'm going to duplicate the column. There we go. Sorry about that. Yes. And now I can just remove the right column. The third one, remove column. And there we go. Thanks, Jean. Okay, now we can just merely replace the, the image here. So I'm going to replace this. This looks really comfortable. And of course, here we said this one was great legs. And now, of course, this is just um, some dummy text, but now you can just replace the text. All right, so we've got our quote. We've got our two columns. All right, let me just click on the parent block again, and then I'm going to click on the three vertical dots and say insert after. Good night, Jen. See you later. All right, so now I'm going to add a cover block because I want that parallax effect. Okay, we've got 12 minutes left and I think I will get it all done. All right, so we have selected the cover block and the reason I've selected the cover block, of course, if you because you can add text over 
an image. And secondly, um, you, you can have that parallax effect. So let's select, um, where is that image? There it is. So here's my, my cover block. I'm going to select it. I'm going to say full width. And I'm actually going to change the opacity to zero. And the reason I'm going to do that is I specifically selected this image so that the person is on the left and I can add the text on the right. So now within the column, within the cover block, I'm going to add a columns block. And I'm going to add um, two equal columns. And I'm not going to put anything into the left side. I'm just going to, to add some text. Now, remember, I've already saved my text. So here's my text. And now I can just paste it in there. Let's make that a bit larger. Or maybe four. And now I'm going to select the cover block again. And here you've got the option on the right to click fixed background. Fixed background. And once you do that, you've got that great parallax effect. So now if you go up and down, you will see it's got a fixed background. All right. So next one. This is the last one. We are going to add, I'm going to add two columns first. So we're going to add a columns block. I'm going to select two equal columns. And again, I will say, make sure you select the parent block. And say full width. All right, on the left side, we are going to say traveling made easy. And I've got some, some dummy text again. So let's grab the dummy text. Okay. First off, let's um, make that bold and let, let's make that large. Now, I want to add another image between the, the two parts of text. So I'm going to add an image here. So I'm going to click on this. And I'll add one from the media library. I wanted this person jumping. But I actually want this. Um, yeah. Okay, yeah, remember, I, I don't want those sharp edges. So I'm just going to change the radius to, to 20. All right. Now, on the right-hand side, I'm going to add a gallery block and I'm going to add an image, the person skiing. Now, again, I want to change the radius of it to 20 pixels to have that rounded effect. And now I am, I'm going to click on the column and I'm going to duplicate the column. Remember, thanks, Gene, for early on. When we're not going to duplicate the, the parent block, I'll duplicate this column. And now we can just replace this image with another one. And I'll open another one from the media library. And that was the person on the bike. And there you go. So I have nested blocks together. We've got a quote block. We've used the columns block. You'll, you'll notice I've used the columns block and um, the cover block and the group block a lot. Again, those are the, um, those are the container blocks. Yeah, wonderful. So yeah, that is how I created these. Now, let's see what it will look like on mobile, because um, let's publish this. All right. And again, before we say goodbye, let's preview this in a 
in a tab. All right. Again, I said um, the best way to do this is click, right click, go to inspect. And here at the bottom, I've already selected um, the mobile option. And there you can see my hamburger menu. So I think my cover, my my header actually looks really good on mobile. My quote, and then these of course will stack. Oh, the one thing I forgot. Do you see what hap what's happening there? That's the one thing I forgot. Let me just quickly um, change that. I forgot to do that. I need to change the um, the padding a bit. So let's just edit this page. That's actually very important. So let's select this columns block. Let's go to our sidebar settings because you don't want those things to be so far to the edges. So if you go to padding, you can change the padding to 40 pixels. Now you will notice it went slightly in. And let's do that with this columns block as well. Let's go here. Um, you can just drag up as well if you wanted to. Let's go to 40. Okay, update. Again, preview in a new tab. Right click, inspect. All right, let's see if that's kind of fixed the, the problem as well. So, again, our header, our quote. And yeah, now you can see it's actually added that padding, the space around the block. Oh, the parallax one also looks really good. Traveling made easy. And those two images would have also stacked. And Bob's your uncle. All right. And that is all I wanted to show you today. Um, we've got, um, I've got a part two coming up, I think on the 1st of November for me, it might be the, the last day of October for, for, for some other people in the world. But yeah, I'm going to run a similar one. It's called part two. Um, and I will be kind of doing the same thing, nesting and grouping blocks together and um, recreating um, block designs.